Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, where we're just looking to cut through the leftist nonsense. Well, friends, I guess the gaslight campaign failed. Remember a couple weeks ago when Joe Biden gave his State of the Union address? It was supposedly the greatest thing ever. We all remember the on-the-ground after party, where Democrats celebrated Joe Biden's tremendous speech success. Wow, he said words and strung them along in sentences a couple times quite successfully. Halle freaking Luya. Of course, the Democrats were hoping that Joe Biden was going to have a miraculous comeback, that all of a sudden nobody would be questioning his cognitive ability or mental health or mental well-being. As we analyzed in the polling data, didn't exactly play out so great. The main reason, well, his performance at the State of the Union wasn't exactly super convincing. And then, of course, in the follow-up, Democrats still have an issue to contend with, and that being the ongoing concern that is is, well, Joe Biden. Inevitably, he's going to have to speak again. Inevitably, he's going to have to get involved in another political theater, let's convince the American people and gaslight them into oblivion that Joe Biden's okay and actually they're the problem. Kabuki theater scheme. And well, I guess Democrats tried it once again and what a freaking spectacular failure this was. This whole thing just very odd, very weird, totally fake, manufactured, you know, orchestrated. I'm seeing right through this scam. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, friends, so a couple days ago, I was reading a little report that supposedly Barack Obama was paying Joe Biden a little bit of a visit. We know that Barack Obama has been involving himself in Joe Biden's campaign matters as of late, and turns out that's exactly what was going on. Barack Obama and Joe Biden do a live stream, except not really. Joe Biden's totally fine, they say. Joe Biden's totally fine, folks. In fact, he's so fine that they're faking live streams. They just decide to put the live tag here on the top left corner, and of course at the bottom a sign language interpreter, creating the illusion as if this whole thing was filmed on the fly and interpreted on the fly, yet it's filled with edits. I want to make those $800 ACA per savings permanent. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is about the past and serving himself. Thank you, doctor, for your questions, and thank you all for your good work. Thanks again for joining us today. Clearly a fully edited, fully scripted campaign video with obvious staged questions that Joe Biden was given pre-rehearsed answers to, which he struggled to get through. We'd never have gotten the Affordable Care Act done, period. I called it a historic day. No one knows that better than the greatest speaker in the history of the United States House of Representatives, Nancy. My question for President Biden is, can you talk a little bit about what is at stake in this election, especially when it comes to health care? Doc, first I want to thank you. You always are there for your patients. You see firsthand what's at stake. This election is about two different visions of America. As basic as that. And don't forget, people, that we're the United States America. You're the reason I've never been more optimistic about our future. We just remember who we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing but our capacity of the United States when we do it together. Wow, so amazing. I'm convinced all my questions about Joe Biden have instantly dissipated. Said literally no one watching this complete nonsense. All I'm seeing is an 80-year-old man in clear mid to late stages of dementia struggling to speak. It doesn't seem like he has the energy to summon breath. You know, struggling to get through the teleprompter as usual, Joe Biden v. teleprompter, literally just spewing out of his face hole whatever it is that's written in front of him. No thought. Here he is peddling a complete debunked lie about former President Trump. This is the guy who doesn't care about science and reason. Remember, during the pandemic, Donald Trump told us to inject them ourselves with bleach. He said there's nothing to worry about if you do that. This guy has no idea what he's doing, what he's talking about. He just stands there and reads what's in front of him. Uh, Trump told us to inject ourselves with bleach. No, he didn't, you complete dummy. But you would know that if your brain worked. If you had the ability to think for yourself and operate a computer, you know, do your own research. Maybe that's what Brian Stelter was talking about when he was warning us about doing our own research. That phrase, do your own research, it's popping up a lot in conversations. But this go-it-alone approach, doing your own research... It seems so innocent, but it can have serious consequences. No, they don't want you to do your own research. They want everybody to be a perfect little puppet that obeys and does everything they ask. 
just like Joe Biden. Be more like Joe Biden. Maybe that's what they meant, or that's what they mean when they say Joe Biden is such an exemplar, such a great diplomat and role model. Yeah, let's all be like Joe Biden so we literally can't think about things. We just blindly follow and sign off to anything the elites demand. Just be the perfect little obeying puppet like Joe Biden. What an absolute farce. The President of the United States is clearly not in charge. The contrast couldn't be clearer. You know, wherever Donald Trump goes, it's Trump followed by his team. He's leading the way, like you'd expect from a leader, a president. You know, when Donald Trump's coming out of that tunnel during those UFC events, it's Trump leading the pack. But every time we see Joe, it's a weekend at Bernie situation. Joe Biden never leads the pack. He doesn't know where he's going. He gets led by his team. He wears his Hoka shoes and has his team grab him by the forearm and guide him to where he needs to go. Where am I going? How do I get off the stage? Who am I talking to? Where am I? Where are we going? What am I supposed to sign? Oh, well, step right over here, sir. Ask that journalist this question and respond with this answer, sir. Join this video call, sir, and say all of these things. Let's film a message for the people. We'll pretend as if it's live, sir. But really just read the teleprompter and we'll, we'll edit the gaffes out later. No one will be able to tell. We'll just slap a live sticker on it. Well, of course, the ultimate end is endless trillions of wasteful pork spending. A green light to every politician's spending dreams, a spending bonanza, just put it on kooky Uncle Joe's desk, and he'll sign it without hesitation, regardless of how much damage it does to the economy, regardless of how much national debt accumulates, at least the name of the bill will be a great slogan. We'll simply tout the name of the bill and then celebrate our immense political victory, achievement, and legacy. Unintended consequences left for future generations be damned. Very unfortunate, I think, is probably the best term to use. And how pathetic these Democrats seem in their desperate attempt to pass it off as normal. You know, the gaslighting campaign. Like, we're the crazy people. What do you mean Joe Biden's crazy? Are you nuts? Are you blind? Are we looking at the same movie, the Democrats say? He was so good at the State of the Union. Give me a break. We can see right through it, and we can see the clear hypocrisy. When Donald Trump slowly walked down a ramp, a slippery ramp with leather bottom shoes, they called for the 25th Amendment. They created enough media-driven pressure to put Donald Trump in a defensive position to where he publicly took a cognitive test, passing it with flying colors. Meanwhile, Joe Biden keeps getting BTFO'd by by inanimate objects. And the media keeps going on and on about Joe Biden's vitality and vigor. The double standard is clear, it's atrocious. Donald Trump played golf a little bit and spent some time in Mar-a-Lago, which essentially became the de facto White House of the South. Well, he was lambasted for it. Meanwhile, Joe Biden has spent nearly 40% of his presidency on vacation, eating ice cream, riding his bike and toasting on the beach constantly calling it a lid early so Joe Biden can get his beauty rest, his little nappy nappy, so Joe Biden can have his little butts been wiped break. My butt's been wiped. And it's a complete non-issue. You never even hear the media mention it. What an absolute farce. Nobody's falling for this scam, just like nobody fell for their State of the Union scam narrative. You're not going to convince the American people that Joe Biden ain't old and melting. It isn't going to happen. Quit trying another spectacular fail from the Biden campaign that even Barack Obama I can't save them from. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.